Welcome back to Jeffrey's Bay. Beautiful conditions continue for the 2017 Corona Open J Bay. Round three, heat number two, features a former world champ, Gabriel Medina, taking on an Aussie veteran, B. Durbage, former runner up in the world. He's won CT events, but big thing that we've been really loving this year is it's the beautiful comeback to surfing at a very high level. B makes some heats at the last event, and he's finding some momentum. Sits now 18th on the Jeep leaderboard, as we're all hoping that he returns to the top 10. Medina set to have the pole position, but which one do you pick, Potts? Uh, any, mini money mo. <laughs> I mean, uh, which one do you want to go? And uh, they'll be thinking that too. B's going to try and force the issue with Medina on wave number one, which Medina's going to take. You got it. Gabriel Medina. Holding that deeper position, we'll start off with his first wave. Clean hook, right off the lip. Nice setup work. This wave's starting to fill out a little bit. He'll just keep fading back into the source. Just trying to fade that downtime well. Now vertically off the lip. Starting to racetrack. Big rooftop float. He's going to come out of that with some speed. Harder jam down the line and plenty of room. Beautiful vertical, running down into a solid section to pull in. It's a messy one, though. Medina's down, now we'll catch up to Durbich. Lay back under the lift. Well overhead through the section towards Impossibles, and he's looking to pull in. Flies out without a problem. Now sets that rail for a bit of a down car to wipe off some speed. That's one of the biggest sets we've seen this entire event, Joe. The one behind it as well. De Souza in that last heat. I mean, he started off with the first wave of the heat, but uh, ended up losing. So I think Jeffreys Bay has the last say. It depends on which wave you catch. I think uh, any one of these guys has the ability to win. Let's have a look. As you can see, Medina milking it all the way through, waiting for this wave to stand up through the inside. And you can just see the stacks to the horizon behind him. And you'll see Bede come into the picture here very shortly. Medina up and over the top of that one. Beads wave a little bit bigger. Medina maybe a little bit more uh, energetic, but in saying that, pulls into the barrel and doesn't come out. So right behind him, Bead on a, on a bit more open face. Look at this wave. Probably almost double in size compared to Gabriel Medina's wave. That beautiful high line that we love here at Jeffreys Bay. Now he just winds back, waiting for this wave to stand up trying to contain himself, trying to maintain, <laughs> trying not to get too excited, try not get ahead of yourself. Those are all the things that you're trying to say to yourself. Calm down, relax, take a breath, breathe. It is a long wave as Deke comes off the bottom and pulls in behind the section. So I'm not seeing either of these scores go too high. A couple little mistakes there from both guys. Very difficult ways to ride those ones, but look at the size of it. And that turn right there from being probably the pick of the bunch on his wave. And it sets him up nicely for this little tube right here. A little in and out. And draws off the bottom again. So beautiful scenes here this morning. And as I said, both guys really not connecting 100%. Just trying to get those nerves at bay, keep those nerves at bay. I mean, this is exciting stuff. These guys both be absolutely on the edge of their seats before their heat. The challenge is to ride this wave the best that you could possibly ride it and actually get up into the lip. We're going to watch these guys riding out here right now, trying to find that open face again and really get into the place to where you're going to be in the lip. So Bede right here, he's going to turn back into a trip, waiting for that power pocket. Looks like he's going to try and set up this inside bowl, but it's so hard to time it perfectly to come around to actually be in that lip. He is just going to drive through this inside and kick out. So as you saw these waves, you go as fast as you could possibly go. You could, you know, it's one of the easiest ways to ride down the line. And we see an opportunity now for Medina way out the back, setting up his first move. It's a vertical to a tough section, comes out with control. Another hammer right on the money. Good tempo and pace from Medina. Keeps that turn down the line. Solid carving work for Medina. Just a little down carve to set up this wall. Now it's starting to run and stand up. Big wind up, hammers it right in the pocket before the pig goes out behind him. Let's have a look at Medina. You can see him crouching low, connects nicely. 
Watch this next bottom turn here. You can see just almost nursing that board around the corner. Again, nice turn there for Medina. A little bit off balance again. Another turn, almost lost it again there. So it's, it's almost like that board not really engaging with the face of the wave. Now as it's come through the inside, you can see now he starts to feel a little bit more comfortable. Now he starts to be able to unload a little bit better. Right here, that's the best turn of the wave right there, and then it runs away. So I think it's going to be a sign of things to come for, for guys coming up in the next couple of heats is that they're going to be riding bigger boards. They're going to need a little bit more, a little bit more rail in the water. Maybe some quad fins, who knows? But um, you can see Medina not really being able to jam it. You see right there, kind of almost nursing that turn, just making sure that he connects with the wave nicely. And then once he gets through to the inside, that's when he starts to feel comfortable. That's when the, he starts to able to get that board to fit in the transition of the wave. But look at this, just big long walls here at Jeffreys Bay. This is what we come here for, Joe. This is classic stuff. A little bit of a different face compared to yesterday, maybe not as clean and perfect. But still, we are going to see some magic moments, that's for sure. Already starting off in such a beautiful way, seeing these guys going blow for blow. We lost to Souza from the draw in the last heat by a rookie named Joan Duru. He got a wave at the end, was looking kind of small, but I think he got barrel and stuff, so was pretty nervous. I lost against him like this, like uh, five years ago on the QS at the end, the last minute, so I will not again. <laughs> like, well, let's just think about that. I mean, you're thinking back to five years ago where you met up with him, so you're really carrying that with you. Um, do you learn from those experiences? Well, I did the same mistake, so not really, but hopefully I got lucky this time. <laughs> And the space is so raw. I mean, we had the sun rising and obviously the water's a little bit chilly. You told me you're not that cold, but the sunshine in your eyes while you're riding waves? Uh, it was okay this morning. was kind of okay and was not too cold. Yesterday was really freezing and today was good. And the waves are pumping, so it's going to be a crazy day. <laughs> see you in round four. Well done. And then trying to deal with the inside section too. So out the back, we'll see what Gabby does on the backhand. But look at these walls, boys. It is firing. Absolutely. Big hack there for Medina. Slowing down to pull in, and that's going to be a messy section. So Medina loses the handle on that decision to pull in. Still with the lead. Last of Durbage, his best is 6-6-7. You can see the positioning. And then when, you, when you're in a heat as well, you, you know, every turn you're putting so much more effort into it. So it's not like a free surf. Free surf, you're kind of relaxed, you're having fun. In a, in a heat situation, every muscle is, is taught. You know, you're, as I said, putting 110% into every single maneuver. So by the time you kick out, there is nothing left in the tank. And that's that whole recovery thing, paddling back out, is very, very important. Beat Derbage, beautiful wave here. This is a good comeback wave for him. It's gonna get him right back in the mix. Trademark stuff so far from Bede, no mistakes yet. Now he pulls in a nice little cover up and disappears around the corner. So a long wave, a demanding wave, a lot of turns, a lot of maneuvers. And then as Strider said, you've got to take a couple on the head to get back out into the lineup. So they had to separate, we'll go separate ways because Bede's comeback came quick and he returned to pipeline. As we check out the heat recap for round three, heat number two, Gabriel Medina got the first wave of the matchup, turned it into a 5.4 then got a bigger wave for an 8.0. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what Medina does. I mean, he's, uh, he's a, a competitive beast, that is for sure. As Sean Thompson would put it, he's a predator. He goes out there and he, he manufactures scores. He makes it happen for himself. If he doesn't have the, the rhythm and the groove, he'll find it, he'll make it happen for him. And that's what, why he's got a world title under his belt. And uh, out here at Jeffreys Bay, three quarter finals in a row for him. So he's gonna wanna go better this year. He's looking strong. He hasn't won an event so far this year, and he's going to be definitely looking to win Jay Bay. And look at this one, a solid one here. An eight-point ride due to a solid finishing move on the inside corner. Set his lines well, just kept at the pace of the wave until it opened up, and then he absolutely hammered it. Yeah, you know, speed management, a key factor that uh, Richie Porter's been talking about. And right there, the best turn of the wave. So just, um, you know, take your time with this wave. It's, uh, it, it gives you a lot of time to, to react, a lot of opportunity to score, start off nice and slow and build your momentum through the inside. That's what these guys are going to be looking to do. B. Derby started off with a 5.0. He backed it up with a 6.67, four and a half to go. So finds himself in a better situation than before, Joe, looking for a 6.74. So this heat is wide open with sets marching around the corner here at Jeffreys Bay. We're going to see more opportunities for both of these guys. 
And uh, as Beat finishes off, you heard Strider talk about the, the fatigue maybe that is coming into play with an opportunity now to try to take this wave. Bede will sit out the back and Medina looking to improve on a 5.4. He's got a lot of speed and a clean wall to work with. First turn solid with a big fan of spray to the sky. Another belt off the lip. Big lofty float to cover some ground right into a combination to finish. Durbage with the answer. Huge car. Right into a snap, some foam on the face. But he'll still fight through. Down carve off the lip. Another jam off the roof there, and he's out of there. A critical exchange there, a 320 on the clock. Medina uses his priority on the first wave of the set, nice and clean. As he comes off the bottom, you can see finding the groove a little bit more intent on that maneuver. Back-to-back, -back, solid backside snaps. Now he races down the line, hits the gas. Up and over the top. And Medina finishing strong. A series of beautiful turns. We're going to see him better his situation. B. Durbage right behind. You can see him looking over his shoulder. Am I making the right decision? Okay, there's nothing coming. Let's go for it. Beautiful opening maneuver from Bede. And there we see that white water from Gabriel Medina's wave. Look how bumpy and lumpy it is. You can see it brings that indecisiveness into Beat's game plan. Not able to really hook into his turns and decides to get out of that. Maybe get back out and get priority, who knows. Beat Derbidge, first turn, definitely the pick of the bunch. And then once that wave got the white water on it, it, it just really made it difficult for him to connect. Beautiful carving work from Beat Derbidge. But like you said, Paz didn't have that clean, solid open face of Medina's wave. 45 seconds to go, Durbich with first priority will take this wave. Needs a 9.16. Clean arc off the top, good start so far for Bede. Slams on the brakes to get barreled. Jamming through a solid section, he comes out. Hoping for the big finish, it's another barrel opportunity for Durbich and he'll slam on the brakes again. His third option deep in the pit, and that one's going to run off without him. Dervis put everything on the line in that heat. Was exhausted after his 6-6-7 on this day of action with a 15-8-3 total for Medina. Oh, well, Damien's got the crystal ball. That is for sure. And uh, yeah, well, two goofy footers moving through in the first two heats. Amazing stuff.